I am so fed up with my family. I cannot stand my family. I hate my family to be. It don't make a bit of sense. Check this out. So, my kids is the worst. That's number one. The family is the worst, number two. Um, you know, I am that family in Detroit, yes. But I'm like, you know, it's like I'm kind of so glad I got away from them. I got away from Detroit because it's like I go through too much. You know what I'm saying? And I think I'm too, too, too much for them. I think I'm much more farther better than them because um, I want something out of life, and they don't show me that they want anything out of life. All they want to do is sit around, and talk about each other, talk about battle, bash each other in private, and talk about each other in private, and just belittle each other in private. They're not a family trying to help nobody. They're not a family to try and be. They're not a champ family trying to be there for you when you need them. When you go to them and you got you going through something, they take your hurt and pain, laugh about it, and make jokes about it, really cool you about it, and tease you about it, bullies. That's not how family supposed to be. That's not how family works at all. So you know. And I'm tired of going to Detroit, visiting my family, and they don't, they don't, they can't come to Atlanta and visit me one day, two days, three. I'm not going to Detroit to visit nobody. No disrespect. I'm not going to Detroit for no funerals. Don't, no disrespect. So when y'all say, why well, Tanya ain't here, I'm letting you know now. Nobody didn't come see me when you was alive. So don't think I'm coming to your funeral when you ain't, when you ain't alive. That's just it. I'm tired. Don't nobody come to Atlanta to visit me. Period. I'm not going back to Detroit, Michigan unless I'm paid to be. Period. Nothing no disrespect to Detroit. No disrespect to no you know no nobody in Detroit but my family. And that's just it. It's just like I'm done. I'm not going back to Detroit to visit no family members or none of that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not if I'm not paid to be there and I'm not booked to be in Detroit. I'm not coming back to Detroit. I'm not. So everybody in Detroit that love me or want to see Tanya, you better be up here to Atlanta because Tanya will not be back in Detroit again unless I'm paid to be, like I said. I'm not coming back to Detroit to visit nobody or no funerals. And I mean that, no period. This family is gone to the dogs. They don't care about nobody. Ungrateful. Like I say, they when you're going through stuff, they take that, they laugh. He ha 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 ha. And if you got money, you you cool with them. But you ain't got no money, you ain't cool with them. I don't got time for that. I'm really not dealing with nobody and no family members like that under no circumstance. So, sorry, Detroit. I won't be back to visit. No time. Period. Now, getting on the case in Atlanta, or currently, with um this damn diamond. So Diamond don't want to be able to be a part of the baby's care with me, I can see. So she gets mad. She gets back mad at me because when things not done the way she wants to be done, but she's not here to do it, she get mad at me. But I'm going to let y'all listen to this video and y'all tell me what y'all think. And leave y'all comments below. Make sure y'all follow Troy T Family YouTube. We're going to see all the tea. Everybody unfold. I'm unfolding all the tea from my family to... All the mess is going on on the, on, the, on, the, on the book and just trending. Make sure y'all follow Turkey Family for everything. But look at this video here. What you say? What you say? Listen to this shit. Where's she at? Where's she at? She's gone. 
You was reading how your baby Ray Diamond. Trust me, take care of that baby. My fucking room. Somebody took the diapers out of my room. Trust me, changing that baby. Diamond, you've been gone for four days. You leave this baby for four days with us. You don't come back to none of that shit. And you get mad at us. How? How you gonna get mad at us? You know, nigga, I'm you rather leave it back. Shit, go upstairs now. Up the stairs right now. You talk to your little people in your head upstairs. Go talk to the little folks in your head upstairs. You've been gone four days, five days. Then you are, I'm talking. And then you come back here like we supposed to have her dressed up like Princess Diana. We do the best we can with her. You know, we, we make sure she ate. I make sure she feed. I fed that baby diamond for five days. Not you. I did. did not, Precious did not give her no diaper. Every day I, day I go to work, I give Precious diaper for this baby. What you mean? For her and King. The source came into the world. You ain't born no diaper King. I put them in my car. Do you know them diapers in my car? You'll come in my room, ramshack and ramshack in my room and stuff like that. You don't, you, you, you go, you will that, you go to that man's house, you get broke the same day you go over there. That's not right, Diamond. You don't spend a hundred dollars on that baby when you get your check. That's not right. You are neglecting that baby. That baby, you failing that baby as a parent. And that's not right. Because you think you all this type of good mother, that good mother, you not. You are horrible, and you're not listening that you're horrible. You need to let somebody take care of her that's going to take care of her, because you're not. You keep running the street with these niggas Nobody and shit. Here. You, don't get, you keep running the street with these niggas Nobody and shit. One day you ain't going to make it back. One day you ain't going to make it back. I don't care. I see you don't care. Anytime you leave your baby for five days, I see that. I see that. Do that for her for all this time, and we're a bad two times. You don't even know your baby had baths while you was gone because you was gone for five days. BJ, turn that shit. Nobody ain't cleaning up my fucking house. Turn everything off. I'm going to start taking out the vocal moonlight with no music and y'all don't clean up in this bitch. Out of this. <laughs> shit, she, come. she ain't got no clothes. Shit, I was going to go shopping buy her some clothes her and King Friday. Then I Shaniqua. I said, I'm going shopping Friday. I was going to take her in King shopping about some winter clothes. Because you won't buy her none. I'm the one who's going to go take her shopping Friday. To go buy her in King winter clothes. Come here. Come here. Precious, take good care of her. That's all she know. Precious, take good care of her. How you going to keep her away from her to take good care of her? How you gonna get mad at her? Did that nigga make you mad? You been with him for five damn days. Y'all are weak. Y'all really weak. I could never go with no nigga come back home broke. Ain't no nigga getting all time money, period. I'm not giving no nigga my motherfucking money, period. How? How? Nigga, if we smoking, it's on you. Shit. I'm giving you some ass. That's good enough. You can free ass, nigga. You better provide the smoke. Shit, the smoke, the crack, or whatever. Shit. And I'm here for five days when you get some free ass five damn days. And you think I'm going to spend my money? Hell no, nigga. You don't gas and spend your whole shit and your daughter don't get shit out of it, not even a bottle. Then you come home like we some daycare motherfuckers and your baby probably dressed up like Princess Diana. I didn't say dressed up. That's not right, Diamond. You do, you expect it too much from us. No, she's she not dirty. Yes, she is. Her body is sticky. Her pamper is sagging. Dare is dirty. Pressure just changed her hair pamper. Pressure just changed her pamper not too long ago. Because they stole the pamper off my bed. The pamper's in my car. The thing is, Diamond, you're not doing what you are supposed to do as a parent. You have to buy her pampers, put them up. Buy her some clothes every time you get your check. If ain't number 50 to $100 worth of clothes. I know you at least bring home $400. If you bring home $300 goddamn dollars, you should be spending $100 on that baby. Because technically, when you're on your job, your baby supposed to be, your check supposed to be half and half. And you have, you have your baby. Hold on. We'll kill this fly. Please. They closed that fucking 
fine. Oh, they took the fly squatter. Come on. Sad ass shit, bro. That's some sad. That's that girl. It's really sad to me. I can't believe that. And and, and, and this this type of shit. Protect serve don't take people babies like that. They wait till something happen before they take people kids like that. Like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That kid is not getting the, the proper care she need. That baby not getting the proper care she need. You know you've been gone five fucking days, stranded, everything. I'm so sick of this shit. I'm just so sick of this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. It's like, there's nothing I can do to make sure that this girl going to be... Oh, go up in my room and get my bag. My, my, um, my, uh, my Gucci, uh, backpack. Hurry up. Oh, my God. Let it out. It's some, um... This don't make no sense. I'm going to tell you like this. This don't make no sense because at the end of the day, as a grandmother, I'm working two, I'm working two jobs. I already got my own stuff that I'm doing for my own business on the internet. Uh, I, I'm doing a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper, comedian. I'm trying to um, branch out with my career. I have a whole career that I'm over here trying to succeed and get, get going. You know what I'm saying? Get started. I can't, I, I'm over here being held back by some kids. You know what I'm saying? This girl been gone for five dang on days with her man. You know what I'm saying? She broke, got paid Friday. She was broke Friday. Like, how did you take your whole check to the man? You know what I'm saying? And that man, ain't he, he just taking, obviously, because he ain't bought nothing for that baby yet. Any man that really loved you would have said, hey, baby, let me buy your baby some diapers. Let me buy your baby something. That man ain't bought that baby nothing, but always wants you to come over there every Friday. Now she home. She ain't got no money. Guess what? She going back Friday. No, Thursday. Because her check come on a day early. So she's going to be back over there Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. She'll be back here Monday when it's time to go to work. She go over there every weekend, and then this baby don't got nothing. I'm the one said, I, call, I told my supervisor yesterday at the job. I said, I'm so sick of my daughter. She is so wrong. You know what I'm saying? I said, I got to go back. I got to go. I'm going to go and get, you know, winter shopping. But King and I got to go winter shopping for little mama. Because I can't leave her out there. She ain't got nobody else. If I don't go buy little mama a little coat, a little jacket, and some little winter outfits, who going to buy that? That little baby won't have nothing. Not even probably a pair of boots. I just said that to my supervisor yesterday. Cause my supervisor said, "Oh, you can come over by my house." She said, "I know a little kid store that's not, that's you know that's, that that you can go to. They sell a lot of kids stuff and everything." She said, "They kind of no reasonable, or whatever." She said, "You can go over there and you know you can take them shopping over there." I'm like, "Oh my God, I really don't want to lug these kids and stuff like that." She's like, "Oh, I help you. I help you. She cool." She's like, "I help you. No problem. I help you. I help you lug the kids. Whatever. Whatever. I hold them for you and ever." I go, okay, well, since you're going to help me out with them, you know what I'm saying? I'll bring them. So, my thing was, it was yesterday, oh my God. Who? This thing spent, spilled. Yeah, I, we were going to take them with us so we can go shopping. This thing spilled. I need a um, vacuum for my thing. I got to get these crumbs up. I bought diapers. Where my diapers at? I bought diapers. I got to keep diapers in my car. I got by wipes. She let her kid play with wipes. When that baby here, she don't even uh, let. She let the baby play with a whole thing of wipes. We get a whole whole box of wipes. We keep the wipe on the table. The baby goes on the table, get the wipes, and just start pulling them out. And diamond be so high, she be like, just looking at the baby like she numb. Like you don't see your baby. Uh, 
disbursing all those whites that you didn't pay for? Stop. That's how she talked to the baby. Stop, Zaria. Stop. But those the people that protect the service think is great kids, great mothers. Great mothers. She hides a kite. Those great mothers. I'm so sick of the system. Baby, I ain't calling no system. I ain't talking to no system. I'm just going to stay here back here and pray that they don't know her harm come my grandbaby. But I know something's going to happen. Because when you're getting high, when you got that baby out here getting high, you're going to do something that's going to be detrimental to you or that baby health. And protective service got to step in. And all I'm going to say is I told y'all so. Protective service ain't doing nothing. They said the baby ain't hurt. There's nothing they can do. So she can get out all day and elect her baby and let the pamper sag. She ain't got a bad baby, nothing. She ain't got to feed the baby. They want to know if the baby is injured before they step in. So I know you used to call them. They ain't taking nothing. So I ain't calling. Y'all. Uh, someone you ain't seen. That was with the last time. I, mean, I need a vacuum. I need a, it got to be. You ain't seen that. I gotta get a car back in bed. This is this is horrible. This is starting to get really bad. I ain't got cookies and stuff, crumbs and spilled right here. Yeah, you gotta go to the You can't see. Now that plate closing. My stick. Oh my God. This is too much. So come get your credit fixed with your girl, Twerk T. And also. Follow me on Spotify, and also, this is my backup YouTube community, the podcast, and this is my YouTube. Try to family get there.